I forgot about UV damage when you're inside the house. Seriously, I feel very stupid. And even though I have been focusing on my sunscreen, I've been applying my sunscreen every single day, even when I am inside the house, I'm actually developing pigmentation right here. So what I want to talk to you about today is really, please, if you're watching this video, learn from my mistake. If you're working from home, make sure you are applying your sunscreen and reapplying that sunscreen, particularly if you're spending long hours working in an area that is close to a glassed window or glass panels on doors, anything like that, because that UV exposure is going to give you some UV damage. And I wanna tell you today how this happened for me. When we first went into lockdown here in New Zealand, of course, our company said, most of us are gonna work from home. I started working from home in this room that I'm in. And I've got a large window on this side, so you can kind of see that sun there. And then I've got a big window that's right in front of me as well. And when I first started working, I had my blinds up. I was happily working away on my laptop, sitting here at my desk with these blinds open. And I started to all of a sudden realize, wait a minute, I'm getting a lot of UV exposure. So let me just move to another area. And one of the things that triggered this for me was the fact that I'm getting laser hair removal on my face. By the way, if you want to know about my experience with laser hair removal, comment down below so I can do a video on that. But with laser hair removal, your skin actually becomes really sensitive to UV. And I was told from my laser specialist to make sure I'm diligent with my sunscreen. I did take that seriously and I have been trying to be very diligent with my sunscreen. I do apply my sunscreen every single day. If I'm going out, I'm wearing a hat. However, I forgot about UV damage when you're inside the house. Seriously, I feel very stupid, but I really just forgot about wearing sunscreen inside the house. I would wear my sunscreen one time in the morning, let's say 8 a.m. I would apply my sunscreen, then I would start working, and really that was it. Then I noticed a couple of sunspots that popped up right here and close to my brow bone, and I realized, okay, I've got to move from where I am. I've just got to, this is just way too much UV exposure. And so I left, I went to my dining room, and I started working from there. Now with my dining room area, we do have glass doors. And again, I would apply my sunscreen in the morning and I would forget to reapply during the day. Honestly, the reapplication I really didn't take seriously. And because I wasn't getting any direct sunlight hitting me, I thought I was fine. You'll be able to see from the picture that even though I don't get direct sunlight, there's actually a ton of UV light that comes through those glass doors ton and that was hitting this side of my face constantly in the last few months and then i started to see some pigmentation develop right here i didn't have this before this has only really come through now in the last couple of months and that was my mistake honestly my total 100 percent mistake that i slacked when it came to sunscreen so this video just to let you know to take your sunscreen seriously even if you're not getting any laser treatments on your face even then make sure you're reapplying that sunscreen and closing your blinds while you're working through the day because that's something i totally forgot and now i've actually changed my whole skincare routine now i'm using products to really stop this pigmentation in its tracks and making sure that i first of all this pigmentation doesn't get darker and of course making sure that it will lighten over time now i haven't gone through this before because this is not normal pigmentation that comes from an acne breakout or a pimple breakout this is pigmentation that's really been caused by uv damage i don't know how long it's going to take for this to go away that's okay though what i'm interested in is to see whether my new skincare routine is going to help with this now i've just started it i think it's been a week maybe a little bit more that i've been using this routine and i won't discuss it today because i do want to give this routine a solid go for at least two months before i give you my thoughts as to whether it's working for me or not the products that i am using just as an fyi if you're interested nine cinnamide which is great but on top of that i've also included alpha arbutin azelaic acid licorice root extract and vitamin c 
So these are specific products that target hyperpigmentation and I'm including them in my routine every single day. And I will absolutely do a follow up on this and show you what my pigmentation looks like perhaps after when I've done two months of this routine and give you my thoughts whether I think this routine is working for me or not. And so what I'm doing now is using my sunscreen every three hours. I know they recommend every two hours, but that's maybe going a little bit too far. So instead what I've done, and I'll show you that picture again, I have closed my blinds. So when I'm working from home, I've closed my blinds and I've actually taped three pieces of A4 white paper all across my glass doors. And that just prevents all that glare, all that light. If you have been working from home, what has been your experience? I think the pigmentation that I'm seeing come up so quickly for me is really because of those laser treatments. If I hadn't had those laser treatments, I believe I probably wouldn't be seeing this pigmentation come up. The only problem with that is it would be a delayed reaction. So this pigmentation would probably come up in my future years. I just wouldn't have realized why. And because of this treatment, it's accelerated the process, but I know exactly why. Because, get this, other side of my face, this side of my face doesn't have any of that pigmentation. I don't really have sunspots on this side of my face. I don't have that pigmentation here. All of my pigmentation that has come through in the last few months is all on this side of my face, which is the side of the face that faces the window in this room and is also the side of my face that faces the glass doors in my dining room area. So I know exactly why this is happening. If you're not someone who uses sunscreen frequently, I have something you want to take a look at. And I will absolutely see you in my next video. See ya.